r slash pro revenge break my phone you'll pay for the damage hello wonderful people of reddit i have a lot of time to myself today my friend slash employer is taking the kids out for a walk and i decided to post my own personal story of revenge here after my friend suggested it she also insisted on helping with my username so thanks for that i was always the kid people picked on at school the girls would spread rumors about me and the boys would harass me non-stop See, I'd always known that I wanted to be a nanny, I loved babysitting and looking after kids, so it seemed like a natural career choice for me. I made the mistake of telling this to a girl who I thought was my friend and she proceeded to tell everyone at school. As this was perceived as feminine I instantly became the target for bullies. There was one boy who loved to terrorize me. I'll call him Jack for the sake of this story. Jack was awful. He would follow me home whilst throwing things at me, vandalize my schoolwork, call me disgusting names, steal my stuff, cut my hair in class etc. I was terrified of him. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep from the fear of having to deal with him at school the next day. I blame him and his friends for the anxiety I had and still somewhat after this day. I reached breaking point not long after Christmas when I was 15. My family never had a lot of money, but we got by. My mom had saved for ages in order to buy me my first phone. No it wasn't the newest model, but I didn't care. I was so grateful to have my first phone and a little guilty that my mom had gone without her new Christmas outfit and had put off fixing her own phone to buy it for me. Once the schools went back after Christmas break, Jack found out about my phone. He took it from me and proceeded to read through my messages, making fun of me for the lack of contacts and telling my mom I loved her, then threw it to the floor and stomped on it in front of his friends. I was furious, upset and devastated this knucklehead had destroyed something that my mom had worked so hard to buy for me. I started planning my revenge. I knew through the grapevine that Jack's mom was a stay-at-home mom. His dad had a well-paid job and his mother was quite happy to stay at home with the kids, 4-year-old twin girls. I also knew, however, that she didn't get to go out much as Jack would flat out refuse to babysit and she was pretty picky when it came to who was allowed to look after her kids. I used to babysit her friend's little boy and was pretty good at it if I do say so myself. However, for my plan to work, I had to babysit Jack's siblings. I made a few comments here and there to the little boy's mom about wanting to get a few more babysitting jobs so I could save up some money for my mom's upcoming birthday. As luck would have it, the lady recommended me to Jack's mom since it had been so long since she'd been able to go out with the girls. For the next few weeks I'd go to Jack's house with the other little boy I was babysitting and look after his little sisters. Despite Jack's awful attitude his family were all pretty nice. His little sisters were an absolute joy to look after. Jack wasn't usually in the house, but when he was I could see that it killed him to have to be civil to me. His mom would flipped out if he'd been horrible to me in front of her or his little sisters, they'd have quickly ratted him out. Once I decided enough time had passed, I put my plan into action. See Jack was one of those creepy kids that liked to brag about his adult magazine stash in his bedroom. This made him cool to his friends, never understood why tbh. Anyways, every time I'd babysit and put the little ones to bed, I'd sneak into his bedroom and search around. I know this is a massive invasion of privacy, but I was a stupid 15 year old kid and I couldn't take his bullying anymore. I eventually found his stash and made a mental note that they were in a bag in his closet. I'd been observant those few weeks, so I knew that Jack's mom and dad had an unopened bottle of vodka in the fridge, they didn't drink a lot, and it was only four when they were going to parties. One night, once the little ones were asleep and Jack was out with his friends, I went to the fridge, opened the bottle of alcohol, and tipped about a quarter of it down the sink. His parents could afford to buy a new one by the way, if they couldn't I'd never have done it, and snuck up to Jack's bedroom and his the bottle in the same bag as his stash. His parents found out about it not too long later, and, after Jack accused me of taking it, they showed up at my door. They weren't angry because they still didn't know who had taken it, so they asked me some questions. I denied everything but was polite and even offered to help them look for it in case it had been misplaced. They thanked me, but told me that it was fine, they'd find it. And oh boy did they find it. 
I was called over the next day to look take the little ones to the park for an hour or so in order for them to have a talk with Jack. They didn't like arguing in front of the twins. It had frightened them. When I got back, Jack was in his bedroom. If the noises were anything to go by he was crying. It turns out that he'd ratted himself out. His parents found the bottle of alcohol in his room along with his adult magazines. His mother hated anything like that as she found it to be degrading to women. She humiliated him by gossiping to the neighbors about his unhealthy obsession with S asterisk X. He denied everything and accused me of planting the alcohol there. When asked why I'd do that, he ratted himself out by saying that it was payback for him breaking my phone. His parents flipped out. They'd had no idea their son was such a bully. They took away his phone, grounded him and made him sell his games console to pay to get my phone fixed. I had been saving up the money myself for a few weeks. His face when they made him hand me the money will stay with me forever. His parents questioned me about the bullying, eventually informing my mom as well. I'd hidden it from her and told her I dropped my phone. He got into a lot of crap at school after a few other kids came forward about the bullying they'd endured at the hands of Jack and his friends. A few of them, including Jack, got suspended. Jack's parents even made him got to the door to apologize to the people he'd tormented. I was reluctant to take the money at first as it was way over the amount it would cost to get my phone fixed so his parents compromised and told me to take enough to at least cover the repair cost. Needless to say, with the phone repair covered, I managed to get my mom an awesome birthday gift. I know this is really long and really badly written. I'm not a writer so please forgive me for any errors. Too long. Didn't read. Bully at school breaks my phone. So I babysit his sisters in order to frame him for stealing his parents alcohol. They make him sell his games console to pay for the damages. He also gets suspended from school and made to apologize to his victims. Edit, so I didn't expect this to get so many upvotes. Thank you all for the kind comments and awards. I've been reading all the comments, and I apologize for not being able to reply to every single one. Anyway just wanted to say thank you to all you kind peeps. Thanks for watching.